Welcome back to Don't Stop, guys. Let's do a recap of the previous part. So, we fought some mobs, we've killed one Clockwork Knight, and we also fought some spiders in order for us to get our hands on some monster meat and some silk. We're gonna use the silk to craft a bug net in order for us to catch live butterflies so that we can plant them as flowers, which will generate more of them, and we're gonna keep the loop going. That will provide us with an infinite supply of butterflies, and we can use it to restore massive amounts of health. Especially now that we have the farms, we're gonna grow some vegetables, and that will allow us to make some butterfly cupcakes. We've also created the fridge, which is pretty essential if you plan on surviving for an extended period of time. Right now we're heading back to our base. If you guys haven't seen the previous part, don't worry about it. I got you. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Honey, we're home. Hey, we've got our first plank grown. We're gonna pick it up in a bit. I'm just gonna store some of the loot that we got from our fight with the spiders. Uh, because we don't need it in our inventory. Our sanity is also going a bit low from all that. But we're gonna restore it with some food, and hopefully that'll be enough. Alright. Let's see where this goddamn bug net is. It should be around here someplace. Huh. Tent. That is good. The tent and the bedroll restore massive amounts of sanity, but... At the cost of hunger. Um, thermal stone. We need that for the winter and for summer. Maybe making two of those is not a bad idea. Compass. Umbrella. Bird trap. Oh, that'll be good as well. Eventually. Oh yeah, here it is. Bug net. We need to get some rope for that, so I'm gonna craft some really quick. Here we go. Now we have the bug net. I'm just gonna place it over here, and I'm gonna use it in a bit. Let's grab a bite from the fridge, because our hunger meter is starting to go down. That should do it. Oh wait, I forgot about the berries. We're gonna grab them, and I do plan to cook some more food because we don't have that much. And it's getting dark, so I will have to light up our fire pit before anything else. Let's put a few logs in it just to be sure that it will last us during the night. Get out of here, you stinking hand. That did it. So let's cook. I want a few meatballs stacked in the fridge, just for safekeeping. I'm gonna free up some space. Let's drop the remaining silk that we have. That's one meatball dish. Let's store it. I'm not sure that I want to cook anything else other than meatballs, to be honest. If you want to check out the whole list of recipes for the stuff that you can cook in this game, feel free to check them out on the Don't Starve wiki. Alright, we don't need that many seeds. Let's throw some of them. We don't need the monster meat on us as well. That is gonna go in the fridge. I don't remember if we can cook monster meat directly into meatballs, but... I'm gonna try it. Let's see. 
One monster meat and three berries. Yeah, that should produce meatballs. If you put more meat into the crock pot, that will turn into monster lasagna and we can't really use it, so... I'm just gonna go one meat at a time. Let's get our vegetable and plant another seed on its place. Awesome! We got exactly what we needed. We're gonna have a lot of meatballs soon once we're done with the cooking. There's a few rabbits that are gonna starve and produce morsels, so that's nice. We might as well store the plants that we grow inside the ice box. We don't want them to spoil before we can use them. I should cook another monster meat. <laughs> Cooking with pixel. <laughs> Today on the menu, meatballs. <laughs> Okay, so once we're done with this dish, we're just gonna have enough berries for one more. Hopefully by the time this is done, we're gonna grow some more in order for us to get new ones. Just to refill our provisions. Yep, we already have some. Great. Another thing you can build and remember guys is that you have 10% chance of spawning a turkey or a gobbler when you pick up the berries. Uh, the way to deal with them is pretty simple. Just leave some food on the ground and wall it off. That way you can kill them for some free meat. I'm not gonna bother with doing that right now. I'm not really worried about it. We're gonna get all this grass because we only have 20 right now. And we're actually looking good. I'm sure that we'll survive pretty comfortably once this whole setup takes shape. We're also gonna have enough resources prepared for winter. If it gets cold, we have the rabbit earmuffs over there, which are gonna keep us warm to some extent. We need a thermal stone as well, but uh, that is pretty easy to make. What else do we need right now? Let's harvest this and plant another seed on the farm. <laughs> Part 2. Gardening with Pixel. <laughs> Alright, alright, enough of that joke. I'm gonna do the same for this. I'm thinking about grabbing a little bit more manure so that we can make another farm. I'm also gonna skip the gathering process because it's not that interesting. We're just gonna grab some poop, guys. I'll see you in a bit when we've got the materials needed. Okay, that took me long enough. One improved farm coming right up. Another useful thing to remember is that during winter, none of our plants will grow. This also affects our farms, which will not produce vegetables during that time. So my idea is to plant everything right now and hopefully that will have enough time to grow. Um, after which we can harvest it whenever we need it during the season. Also, as you can tell, I'm trying to stack up our food in the fridge just for that occasion. Alrighty then, let's turn yet another monster meat into meatballs and after that I'm gonna build a few more drying racks just to be able to produce more jerky. 
at least the drying racks won't get affected by winter. Nice. So while that is cooking, we're going to focus on the drying racks. I don't remember what materials we need to craft them. So let me have a look. We need rope. Okay. We should have plenty of grass to make some ropes. That should be enough. I want to place it. Oh, come on. I want to place it close to the other ones. Like for example, over here. Awesome. We're gonna need a few more, probably at least one more. To be honest, the more you make the better. Just don't go too crazy about them and you should be fine. Oh, uh, one thing that I remembered just now is that you can forcefully make plants grow during the winter in the farms. Uh, you only need to fertilize them with enough poop or rot. But of course, that will cost you a lot of that resource. A good thing that you can do for that is to make the bucket of poop, which will be the most efficient way to use manure. And uh, that will allow you to use it multiple times. So now that our dish is ready, we're gonna put it with the rest in the fridge. And after that, we're gonna place the morsels to dry on the drying racks. Oh crap, it's getting late. We should have enough time to do it. Okay, we've made it. Let's equip our... Uh oh. Oopsie. As you can see guys, mistakes can happen. <laughs> Instead of equipping the torch, I've pressed the... Um, I've pressed the wrong button. I misclicked. <laughs> it's a good thing that we made everything fireproof because... If that drying rack was closer to the others, that fire would have spread and we could have lost not only our structures but our plants as well. I guess this is a good enough example why you should plan your base in advance and not put everything together. Okay, time to put some logs on the fire. Alright, I've already crafted the razors so we might as well shave. The good thing about Wilson is that he's an all-rounded individual and not only that but he grows a magnificent beard. The beard can be used later on to make the meat effigy, which will more or less grant you immortality, but you're gonna have to sacrifice some of your maximum health. Oh, nice. So, shaving the beard also grants you a little bit of sanity. We've actually found the touchstone on this map, so that'll resurrect us when we die. We don't need the meat effigy right now. Looks like I'm gonna have to build the hammer to destroy the burnt drying rack. I'm gonna keep the one that we have on us and I'm probably gonna place it down later. Let's check if we have some berries grown. Oh yeah, we do. Cool. So, we're gonna pick all of them up. It's time to catch some live butterflies. We need to make our garden. <laughs> Gardening with? Uh, nah, I'm not gonna make that joke again. The bug net will allow you to get 10 butterflies because the durability goes down by 10% each time you catch something. I think that should be enough. Hopefully we're gonna have enough silk to make it one more time when this one runs out. 
If we don't, we're gonna have to venture out and clear another spider nest. That's not that big of a problem. Alright. So I want the flowers in this corner. Eventually, we can do the same to make a bee farm, but that will be a little further from the base. I don't want the bees to turn into killer bees in spring and constantly harass us while we're in our base minding our own business. Come here, little fella. I just want to plant you in the dirt. <laughs> Awesome, so we can catch one more. Here we go. Let's plant this one as well. This is starting to look great. We're gonna have a lot of butterflies soon. Let's pick this up. And this. Oh, that morsel almost spoiled. It's a good thing that we got that on time. We can still turn it into something delicious. I'm gonna reset the other trap as well. Uh, by the way, we should have something growing in the farm. And we do. Awesome. That gave us a carrot. Let's cook the morsel that we have. I don't want it to spoil. One meat and three berries. That's our old reliable. At least we're not gonna worry about starving anytime soon. I'm just gonna eat one of the meatballs that we have stored in the fridge and add the new one. The night is almost here guys. Let's light up the fire. I want it nice and bright because we're probably gonna burn some bodies. <laughs> uh, just kidding guys. We need it nice and bright in order for us to have uh, visibility and keep doing stuff during that time. I'm starting to crack myself up. <laughs> uh, Alright. We're gonna get closer to the fire because it's already dark. Uh, let's see. We don't need the razor on us, so... I'll just drop it on the ground, right next to the science machine. We might as well destroy that eventually, but... I'm just too lazy to do that right now. <laughs> In order for you to destroy it, you only need to craft a hammer and hit it a few times. But yeah, you don't need the science machine and the alchemy engine at the same time. I'm just gonna keep it for the aesthetics. Let's leave it at that. Let's grab a jerk from the fridge. I want to restore some sanity. I'm also gonna check on the drying racks because we probably have a few dried jerkies to collect. Yeah, we do. Nice. Um, by the way guys, as you can see, standing in the dark lowers your sanity quite a bit. So, you might want to try to avoid doing that as much as possible. If you're worried about sanity, that is. Alright then, so once the night is over, we're gonna make one butter muffin in order for me to show you guys how to make them. And I think after that, it'll be a good place to end the video. 
I'm just gonna roll some berries while we wait for that to happen. Oh wait, we have a shadow hand. Get out of here. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Never let those things get to the fire because you can be in a world of trouble. Oh, come on. I didn't get it? Well, it doesn't matter because it's already daytime. Get wrecked. That settles that. We already have the vegetable that we need. The only thing that is missing is butterfly wings. But that is actually pretty easy because we already have a butterfly farm. Please, don't run. We got it. So, the recipe requires one butterfly wing, one vegetable, and two filler. I recommend you to use sticks for the filler, just because it's a more easy to find material. While this is cooking in the crock pot, I'd like to say that you guys who made it to this part in the video, you guys are freaking legends. I love you so much. Thank you for sticking around till the end. Well, it's technically not still the end, but yeah. Okay, this should be done in a bit. Come on. Don't want to keep the bureaus waiting. Come on, crockpot. Cook faster. Please. <laughs> Someone please kill the elevator music while we're waiting. We got it. Finally. And boop. Oh no, wait. <laughs> that was a massive fail. Here we go. Now we're on full hell. All right, let's end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see all you beautiful sons of guns again next time.